Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please check out part one of us putting together our primary closet with the Target bookcases that only cost $40. I explained in part one the disaster that happened in our closet. Now that we have all of the bookcases assembled, we're just putting the finishing touches. So here I am just painting the doors and the trim. I also decided to spray paint the hardware that came with the dress that we got from Walmart. I used this Rust-Oleum Champagne Bronze Color. And instead of buying new handles, this is a cost-effective way to spruce up any hardware that is just not going with the vision that you had in mind. So we just got back from Home Depot to get some more trim and cut a few pieces. Um, so we installed some of the trim here on the closet. So we're about to just finish doing that. And we rented. So we rented this brow nailer from Home Depot for $40 um, for the day. Um, they let you rent it for 24 hours. And then the rest of the trim that's gonna go around the seams and stuff. So like I said, we already put trim around most of it. And then I tried to match the paint as best as I could. So we got um, the color Natural White by Bear. And I think it's a pretty good color. So we picked up a two quart can of that. And then um, last night, we installed this pretty light fixture and we just got to finish painting around it because the old fixture was wide and that's why you see that big circle there. So we're just going to have to paint to match the color that we used on the ceiling up there. But um, to attach these trim pieces, we picked up some liquid nail. And then we're just reinforcing it with the brad nailer. Gotta find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walking down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within Call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver Get deliver like a dealer to take her Train her feet for running, show her every door and how the windows look.
when you're nailing with the bad nailer, you just want to make sure you're not going too high or too low when you're nailing in your trim into the bookcase. You want to make sure you go right in the middle because if not, you will expose that nail out of the bookcase. And we had a couple like that. Lions then speaking with the higher pen can't be touched by fire that's forward to the grown things now I'm working on them so things now forgiving all your old ways but it's harder on the cold day cold day never been a product of a flawless environment never acted like I'm higher than you 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 and I still pray won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away, yeah. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away. Yeah. Cause I'm about to be, about to be. Alright, y'all. So we just finished trimming all around the bookcases. And then the next step is to caulk where we have the brad nails and where there's seams and whatnot. So that's what baby's doing right now. trim pieces gearing up to paint them and we had to clamp this piece together because this top part when we was um nailing them into the bookcases it cracked a little bit so we're just clamping the cracked pieces together hoping it'll stick but I just been sanding so that we can prepare to start painting these trim pieces. And then after that, then we're gonna put in the closet rods. But when we caulk, we got caulk on the bookcases. So I'm just trying to scrape it off. And then also I'm trying to make sure that the trim is smooth and ready for us to paint. All right, y'all, so we painted the trim. We did a second and third coat. And right now I'm working on this case right here. And it's in the color Natural White by Bear. And it's an eggshell finish that we're painting the trim. So we have to do about three coats on um, these pieces because it was all raw and natural. Now we probably could have got away with two coats if we would have bought the pre-primed pieces, but we were trying to cut costs, but now we're paying for it. <laughs>
trim is all done and for our first time doing something of this nature i think it turned out pretty good we really want to invest in a miter saw or a miter shear so we can make accurate cuts and angles for our future projects Hey y'all, so it's several days later, you know, we have full-time jobs here, so we're just now getting to doing the rides. So we picked up the Everbuilt 18 by 30 inch um, closet rods. They say they hold up to 10 pounds, but girl, I've been seeing people load these things up, so. And then a lot of the tutorial videos that I've been watching, have suggested to get the half inch cheap metal screws i guess because the screws that come with the rods are too long and might penetrate through the bookcases so that's why they suggested to get the shorter ones but let's get to screwing these rods on so that we can get our life back together and add our clothes in our closet all right so to make things easier i grabbed one of our tops this is pretty long and we are going to measure to see how far and how high we should put the rod and when baby is done shooting her reel or whatever she's shooting she will come assist me with measuring and dotting these holes as to where we should be putting the rods so they, the hangers do stick out some, but I'm sure it is kind of long. Okay, let me hold it straight. Can you put it down, son? Down? Yeah, I just want to, yeah. Just make sure it's even. Yeah, one end is, you got to pull it up a little bit. No, I mean like, put it up. Ah! Sorry, baby. Wouldn't it be easier to get a measuring tape to make sure that each side is even? Because we're gonna have to put it up high, so we're not gonna be able to use a leveler. Because we need to put it where we need to be able to drill the hole. Unless we use a small little leveler that we had, but oh, Lord knows what that's at, you know. Um, I don't know, baby. But okay. just measure right. between here to here to see. Measure what? Between here to here to see if um here to it's even. <laughs> it, looks <laughs> it, looks it looks dangled. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's switch. Okay, fine. Because I'm nearsighted, so. That could definitely play a factor of what is even what isn't. So, therefore, you'll have a better. Okay, so you want to make sure, yeah, that these things are sitting up like so. Right. And then you could push in some more right there. And I'm just gonna come over to you to make sure that these things are sitting like so. Right. Okay. Um, you could push forward just a tad. There you go. That way that the hangers have some room. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to put my measurements in. I thought you said from here to here. No, baby. You should have had more better instructions. I said from here to here with my finger. Oh, 
cheese on bread. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking eyeball it and just call it a day. Because it's too much. Too much. Yeah. So. I still need a hanger on there. Just to make sure, baby, that you remember where it was. Oh, we need room to get it on there. That's also a factor. Okay. Perfect. So, this way. And then. Sorry, baby. So then, we're gonna take our drill and make a little indentation. You put the tape in here? Oh, that's three inches. That is about three inches. All right, perfect. And then again from here, it is about one and a half. This is about one and a half. Oh my God. I might need to puncture. How did the girl do it? What does she do? What girl? Let me watch her. Oh, oh please. Y'all, I had to make a trip to Home Depot for the 15th time this week. So, <laughs> in order to um, make holes in the cases, I'm going to use this titanium drill. And I think I'm going to use the third size, which is 7 and 64 inches. <gasps> you made a hole a little bit. Mm -hmm. Huh? Y'all, I am beyond ecstatic to be done with this closet once and for all. Of course, we still have to make a few more like tweaks and arrangements, but for the most part, it is a done. So let me take y'all around and show you. So what here we got going is on. some of Baby's hats. She has to get some more clips to attach some of her other hats, and then we just have some of our shoes and our sunglasses. So this is pretty much our accessory wall. And then when you walk in, baby has her work shirts. I have some of my Crocs, my Telfar bag up there. And then in the middle, we decided to put our shoes and I decided to put some of my accessories. 
and then at the top um i bought these baskets from pop shelf and i added some of my chancletas in there and then we got that gold step stool from amazon um that three ring hook is from target where we have our robes uh we have our shorts i have some of my bottoms here and we put some of our fedoras and our floppy hats and then those are my blouses there and i've decided to fold my t-shirts down below that and then we got these hooks from amazon for our scarves the brass chandelier is from amazon Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and if you have any questions of course comment below and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel stick along for the ride because there's plenty of more projects to do in this house so i'll check you guys in my next one bye